everybody. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to wind your little spools and your big spools. And these spools are for use on this machine here. That's the machine that uses three different threads and can do five kinds of stitches. So today I'm going to talk about how to wind the little spool and the big spool using my um, rebuilt uh, bench grinder, hand crank bench grinder. Okay, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, uh, let's talk bobbin winders um, and bobbins. So on this machine that does three threads, you need um, your thread underneath and then you need another thread that wraps around the chain stitch and one that feeds down from the top. So you need a bobbin this size to feed down from the top and I have been actually 3D printing my own uh, spools using a piece of PEX in the middle, a piece of uh, I think it was a half inch PEX and you need this little bobbin here. So you can either put the spike onto your machine and use the stop motion to wind your bobbin or you can do this. Okay, so don't mind the mess in the background, but um, I'm trying to save you guys some money. So I got this really cute vintage antique bobbin winder on eBay. I only paid like $50 for it, but I see them going for a lot more. And um, as you know, I already posted a video about this one that I uh, took apart, spray painted, and put back together. Okay, this is the better one to get. Don't, uh, like 30 bucks, maybe 40 bucks on eBay for a vintage one. Um, this one, it works, it'll, it'll work okay for this little spool. Just slide it on and it sticks and I can um, do my winding. However, the bigger spool absolutely does not work. Um, to get it to stay on, you'd have to put it over there. And there's a little mechanical problem in that you cannot wind it um, because the, the handle's uh, gonna hit the spool as it comes around if, if you, and it doesn't even stay so that these large things won't stay on this thing. And then the handle will come around and hit it. Um, so you would have to have this like a lot further out and you would have to put a bunch of tape or something on, on the spindle to get this bigger one to work, although it works fine with the little one. Um, but I think that this one, in my opinion, it works great for um, both sizes. And I'm just gonna tell you what I did for the smaller size. So this one, I got this hex nut that goes from 3 eighths to 1 quarter hex nut that I put onto the original spindle from the um, grinder, uh, took the grinding stone off. Then I put on a quarter inch lock nut to lock this, was a six inch long bolt, six inch long, one quarter inch bolt. I just sawed the head off because um, I didn't have a threaded rod. So you can put one of these spools on here, okay? And you can lock it down with the wing nut. But I had to do something because the smaller spool, it wouldn't fit onto the quarter inch. So I got this, um, hang on a second. I need to hold the thing down. So I got this quarter inch to quarter inch connector nut, okay? And I have a barbecue skewer here that I put a little hot glue on. I, I, um, I put this thing onto my threaded rod and I, I had it off the table sitting upside down and I shoved a bunch of hot glue into it and I shoved this barbecue skewer in here. And then I put a little bit of hot glue on the outside of the barbecue skewer. And now I can just stick my little thing on here and I can um, put the connector nut on. So that's what I did to get this to be able to use for both sizes. And I have to say that the um, this is cute and all, but it's not gonna work. And they're going for like 100 bucks on eBay, so that's a huge waste of money. This gear is smaller than the gear in here, so this is gonna go faster. And then all you need is to get a, a hex connector nut that goes from one size to quarter inch, and then a wing nut. So when you take off this bolt, this is just a connector nut that I hot glued a barbecue skewer in for the small ones. And then you just take this wing nut off, you put the bigger spool on, and then you put the wing nut on the end. And now you can wind your bigger one. So this will do both. I'm thinking this is the way to go. All right, thanks for watching.